So in this video, we're revealing how I make over $10,000 per month with these four side hustles. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to 160 grand profit in as little as 90 days. So check it out right now. So the first side also is actually pretty interesting because it's something that I kind of like stumbled upon as a failure, right? Like so many times people think, oh, success is just, oh, I get started and it's either I success or I fail. But this side hustle was very interesting because if you were gonna look at it in just face value, it was a complete failure for the first, I guess, year or so of doing this. But little did I know that that huge failure ended up becoming a huge opportunity. And that, you know, side hustle is e-commerce. But it's not in the e-commerce that you think is actually happening because it wasn't a straight line. It was like up and down and up and down. It was literally like a, a, a romantic comedy drama scene where things would go well and things would go wrong and it was just crazy, right? So my e-commerce journey first began because I was like trying to sell products on Amazon. And um, as you can see, just so, so you see that there's like a happy ending. I went from zero to five grand in the first 30 days of this e-commerce business to $1.6 million that first year in sales with about 30% profit margins. But when this all got started, I was actually in the red completely. I would say like 10 or $20,000 in the red uh, because of a failed business attempt that turned into actually like a silver lining opportunity. So this is exactly what I mean. Before I actually got successful in that e-commerce, I originally tried becoming successful in Amazon FBA. I saw so many people like selling on Amazon and this is back in like 2014, 13-ish area. And I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go sell on Amazon. So me and my dad literally went gung-ho and put like just a bunch of uh, products from China on like a credit card and just bought a bunch of products from China and then shipped over to Amazon hoping and praying that we would like get rich quick overnight. Um, and even though we were getting to the point where we were getting like $700 a day in sales, uh, we never really got to the point where we were profitable because every single time we made money, we always have to go to China, not physically, but like messaging them on Alibaba to go and buy more inventory. So it was kind of like a very cash flow poor business, even though the revenue was really, really good. Um, and the crazy thing is we thought we were making money, uh, but when we did the accounting and we actually saw the real profit collected, we still lost like about 20 grand, right? So we were like, okay, should we continue to do this side hustle or should we go ahead and pivot? And I am in under like one of the biggest believers that sometimes the best products will work, but on a different platform. And you wanna go and sell a product that's already winning really crazy on one platform into a platform that's not doing really well, right? For example, you know, people do this uh, on eBay, it's selling well on eBay, but then, you know, it's not selling on Amazon, so they'll set up, sell it on Amazon, right? That's like one of the ways to research product uh, research, right? But I did the opposite thing. I took a product that was selling really well on Amazon that was not yet sold on, for example, uh, Facebook, right? And I literally had no other choice because I had all this product on Amazon, all these grill mats, and my competition was just crazy, man. Like they would like literally mark the prices down and they had way more reviews than me and I was like, okay, well now I have all these grill mats, but I can't just not not sell them, right? I can't return them, I have all these products. How can I go ahead and find a way to sell these products that are already proven to win on Amazon, but on a different platform? So I literally figured out how to create a Shopify site, which is essentially an e-commerce platform where it literally takes like five or 10 minutes to create your own website. And then I just started selling it via Facebook ads on Facebook, right? Uh, and that's literally what blew up, right? To the point where, you know, you saw the craziness. It went from zero. I started about like October 4-ish. And then within that first week, I made my first $100 in a day. And then it just scaled like crazy to the point where you saw it just go crazy like this and as you can see, a lot of it, the reason why I kept on crashing was because of personal issues, because I wasn't used to all this crazy success and I made a bunch of dumb moves with this side hustle. So that's why like, I always preach maybe learning a thing or two about mindset and success before success actually comes to you so you actually get to keep the money. Um, and the funny thing enough is we outsold all of our products on Amazon so we didn't lose money. We ended up recouping that money from Amazon FBA. But then we were like, whoa, we're still making sales. We can't just turn off the ads. So I remember uh, going over to AliExpress and being like, okay, well, people are dropshipping from AliExpress, so if we're already getting sales 
on our Shopify store. We might as well just, you know, drop ship. So then we started drop shipping all of these grill mats from China. And now this is about like 2015. We literally sold out, especially like during um, around this area on like near the Christmas time. We literally like sold out on a lot of stocks. So we freaked out and we're like, oh my God, we got to find out you know, where we could actually find the products in the inventory because literally grill mats weren't popular in AliExpress back in the day. We literally outsold all of like the Chinese stock that was there. And I was like freaking out, I was like, oh my God, like how can I go ahead and find like products to go ahead and sell in the place of this? So that's when I realized on accident, I'm like, okay, well let me see if I can drop it from eBay. And I typed in grill mat and the craziest thing is what I realized is I found that there was grill mats that were shipping from like Los Angeles, from Chicago, from New York and I was like, why the heck am I drop shipping from China when it takes so damn long, my customers are unhappy and the refund rates are higher, right? When I could literally go and just for a couple dollars more, just drop ship directly from the US, customers get them faster and then I make more money, right? Um, and I literally just started drop shipping all of these again until one of the times, one of these suppliers reached out to me and they're like, uh, dude, did you mean to, for example, buy all of these grill mats? Like here's a really good one, look at this, $5.84, right? I was like, yeah, I dropped them on Facebook ads. Why, is there a problem? He's like, well, do you know every single time you buy from eBay, uh, we have to pay a fee, and if you just buy from us directly, uh, you don't have to pay a fee, and we'll just even give you that savings. So I got it to a point where my cost was literally three to four dollars, right, with shipping, and it came from US, but I did not have to buy it in bulk. So it was the best of like, for example, Amazon, because they were literally shipping it. It was connected to my Shopify account. So whenever someone bought it, he, he would automatically ship it. And I started realizing like, oh my God, this is essentially just an affiliate marketing business. Cause this guy has all the products and he'll do the shipping and the handling, but I'll do the customer service and the advertising. And as I got into that business more and more, I started realizing, well, if I'm gonna do an affiliate marketing business with physical products, I might as well just try what's already working with like digital products and other physical products, right? And that's literally when I met a mentor who taught me how to actually do that. And look at this, I went from zero to $8,000 that first 30 days for the second side hustle with affiliate marketing, a quasi e-commerce, quasi like digital marketing, quasi like digital products. And that was crazy because I realized that I could actually remove an extra job on my plate, which was customer service. I was like, okay, I'm doing marketing, customer service, and operations of the team that was like doing all of like the back end stuff with my e commerce business. And I'm like, dude, if I'm already doing this and I've acquired a skill, which is like paid advertising, I don't even necessarily need my own products. There's all these people that are making all of these products that have already proven to make sales. All I gotta do is just come in and pick a product that I enjoy and just go ahead and run ads to it or create content around it. And that's literally what I did here and it was just crazy because it was in, a, like it was in the health and wellness space. It was teaching people how to get like a six pack with their nutrition and their diet and their workouts. And check this out, it went from zero to $200 that second week to $2,000 that next week and then something went weird with like our advertisements and you know our content. But then it went crazy to like a tune of $6,900 in a single week and now most of this was actually profit because of the fact that I didn't actually have to spend on cost of goods for like when I would actually go ahead and do the e-commerce. So my second side hustle was just kind of like pivoting to affiliate marketing because I was like, dude, this is like way less headache, right? Now the third model, that's a really good side hustle as you can see right here, it's a side hustle that I really enjoy is AdSense. Now, here's a crazy thing that I learned, right? There's so many players when it comes to, for example, making money online, right? And one of the biggest players are the people that create content and really sell that space out to other people that have products to go and run ads on it, right? Think about whenever you create a content. So think about like a blog article or for example, a YouTube video or whatever, right? It turns into like this digital real estate where there's a bunch of eyeballs that come in front of this video, that come in front of this you know, piece of content that little do you know that you could actually sell that space and rent that space out. Like how people would rent a space to McDonald's in front of a busy, 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 busy intersection, right? The more busy that intersection is, the more money that McDonald's will make, the more money, the more money they're likely to pay in rent because it's worth it. So as you can see, like the name of the game at that point is attention, right? You can see that, look at this, we're pulling anywhere from 35 grand to 46 grand and this is highly, highly huge profit margins. I would say like maybe like 90% profit margins at that point, right? And like that's being very, very conservative. I think it's even more than that, right? But it's pretty simple, right? With this content business, you know, we literally just like put it on all social media. So we use, for example, we'll take a YouTube video 
and we'll turn it into a blog post. Actually, we do it the backwards. We take, take a blog post, as you can see right here, we have a bunch of blog posts, and we turn them into a YouTube video. Then from there, we also create a pinnable like image. Like As you can see, we get 95,000 views just from like our Pinterest alone. And all of this kind of like goes in so that we can kind of make money on AdSense. And the beauty about this is we don't actually have to create, you know, like advertisements. We don't have to run any paid ads. We don't have to, you know, do any of the back end stuff. There's no refunds. There's no shipping and handling. You're dealing with B2B at this moment. And it's one of like my more favorite income streams because it's like the highest profit margins with like the least amount of effort on my part, especially once it gets going. It's kind of like this compound machine that keeps on growing from that, right? Which leads me to the fourth way that I've ended up making money. Um, and it's kind of like blogging slash email marketing. Because not only can you, when you have this, uh, for example, um, real estate online, that you start attracting eyeballs. But what people are starting to do is they're building their own platforms and kind of gaining the email subscribers so that they own that asset of that audience. Because the coolest thing about that is whenever you want to sell something, you just literally send an email. Like here's an example of what I sent out to my email list uh, the other day. And as you can see, we've literally sent this out to about 41,000 subscribers on this like email list that we have right here. And this is an email list that we literally started in the beginning of this year, right? So this is like a new email list, right? Um, and as you can see, it's pretty simple, right? I literally just told a story um, that happened the other day. I was like, first name goes here. This is how much I made. And as you can see, just from the back end of how much the scale, look at this. $3,000 in affiliate commissions that I shared, and then $1,000 in advertising. So here I am just kind of like sharing all the backend updates that I'm making with my side hustles and how much money I made, how much money I lost, but more so just kind of like my little diary, right? I was thinking, I was like, man, I'm already kind of like writing my diary on a physical piece of paper every single day, right? And just kind of like learning the mistakes that happen and the lessons that I learned and how I can improve. Like, what if I just share this out? So that's what I ended up doing. And as you can see, literally, it's just me talking about my income, the lessons that I learned, why I suck at patience, the fear of loss. You can literally see that this is, this is a long email because it's not really for these 41,000 people. This is for future Mike Vasile to make sure that I don't make the same dumb mistakes that I'm making right now. Things about that I learned about my health and why I hired a personal trainer and how I was bedridden, just like, Really, like it's almost like a story of literally what's happening in my life. And then I recommend like other people's videos or here I recommend books and other people's blog articles. And, and anytime someone goes ahead and clicks on any one of these books, I go ahead and make money from it. So imagine this. My side hustle is literally me living my life, my fourth one, and learning a bunch of experiences and recommending the things that I truly love and enjoy that has been changing a lot of people's lives. Here's another book that I was reading, and you could see, like, I'm already doing this, like, in my gratitude journal, writing down things that I'm grateful for, things that I'm excited about today, affirmations today, and then I just send it, right? And it's just funny because it's just like something that gets me into the creativity zone where I'm literally journaling my thoughts because this is what wealthy people do. But then on the other end of things, the reason why it's a side hustle because I'm learning how to get paid for something that I'm already doing, which is one of the best side hustles out there. If you're already doing something, what if? What if you could get paid to do the thing that you're already doing? What if you could get paid to you know, make money just watching YouTube videos? What if you could get paid to you know, literally do a skill that you already wanna learn? Right? These are all the concepts that not only we teach right, to the people on our newsletter, but the people that, for example, come into our community and come in and listen and go like Dina from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks at 47 years old, or Ilio, an immigrant who made 100 grand in two months, or Greg at age 58, went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks when everything else would fail for them, right? And all they literally did was learn from the things that you know people like me and my mentors share literally on my newsletter or online trainings. And if you wanna know exactly how they went and did that, then make sure you sign up for this week's free workshop because it's literally the fastest and easiest way. As well, check out this video and this podcast right here. Hopefully this helps. Love you guys, see you guys later. Woo!